As families gear up to head back to school, parents may be wondering, are your kids' digital devices causing too much distraction? Well, joining us to help us sort it all out is the founder and CEO of Common Sense Media. We've got Jim Steyer. Jim, thanks for your time this morning. Great to be here, Stefan. Okay, so one concern that we hear from parents time and again, my kids are texting constantly. What can they do about that? Well, you, first of all, you take the device <laughs> away. Don't forget that. Okay. Your, your mom or dad, take that device They're away. They're in control. But also, you know, do timeouts. Like okay. our rule at home is you can never use your phone or any kind of device at the dinner table. Okay. You know, at meal times. So do that, first of all. Second, you, you got to model your own behavior. You know, Stefan, if you're constantly addicted to your phone and walking around looking yeah. at your phone, what do you think your kids are going to learn from that? Right. So I think the number one thing is you're their role model. Okay. And then set a balance with them, you know, and if they don't obey it, there are consequences. Take that phone away from them. You're being sent right to your room. On right to your room. Out, but right? By the way, I will tell you this. <laughs> you can punish your kids mm. by taking away their media devices. Most of the parents out there know that. They may not you talk to you for like a week. But too still. bad. <laughs> they'll, learn the, by the way, they'll learn that lesson. It's really one of the most effective ways to teach yeah. kids the consequences yeah. of misuse of technology. That's a great point. Okay, so what if your child needs to use a device yep. of, on the internet for homework or something like that? How can you help them focus and not be distracted? Well, you know, it can be hard to ignore Snapchat and Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. and, and what you want them to do is remember that there's time for that, just like there's time to watch TV. Right. And then there are times to really focus on your homework or whatever else you're doing. Okay. Have them write down some of those assignments, check off when they're done. You know, the other thing you can do is ask the teacher at your kid's school whether or not they can block access to non-homework related sites. Mm. So if your kid has an iPad or some kind of tech device that they're using now for school, you could say, I just want them to be doing their homework on it. I don't want them on Facebook or Instagram or who knows what. Gotcha. So you set clear rules and also talk to your kids' teachers about yeah, it. And make sure that the kids understand as well what and the that priority there, is. And there are consequences if you don't follow the rules. I like that too. Okay, so let's break it down even further for moms and dads out there watching. Yep. Are there some kinds of screen time that's better than others? Sure. I think you all, we call healthy media diet. Mm -hmm. You know, think about it like a diet. So you're going to have some snack food and fast food, but you want good nutritional stuff too. Uh -huh. So I think you want to go to commonsense.org and find out what are the best movies or TV shows or apps, whatever. Okay. So you have to balance good stuff versus the stuff that, hey, it's just for entertainment versus, sorry, there's no chance you can use that. <laughs> That's what, and you, you, know, you have to do your homework as a parent these days. Right. You really do. We didn't grow up with this stuff, but our kids are living with it. So. That's why you use Common Sense. That is so important to do, and I like the name of the company as Thank well, you. Common Thank Sense you. Media. If you want to see more about great tips for parents, especially at the start of the school year, make sure you check out their website, commonsensemedia.com? Dot org. Dot org. We're not profit. difference. Okay, again, thanks so much. WNCN.com is the place to be for your back-to-school guide. Thanks, Jim. Great to be here, Stefan.